there is something big incoming for macOS 15 Sequoia on unsupported Macs. Welcome to JSC's Flying. Apple just had its glowing event and as every year they presented the new iPhone 16, new earpods and new Apple watches. And they officially announced the release date of macOS 15 Sequoia with September 16th, which is only one week ahead. And as if the developers of the OpenCore Legacy patcher would have known that they have something big for all you guys coming that are still using unsupported Macs, and that is the OpenCore Legacy patcher version 2.0.0. And in this video, let's do a sneak peek what they have prepared when it will be released officially and how you can install it right now and what Mac models are already now supported by that nightly version of the OpenCore Legacy patcher and what is yet to come. So if you haven't yet, I would recommend you subscribe my channel, click the bell for notifications because next week, obviously, when the official release is here, I will do testing on all my unsupported Macs and I'll give you a thumbs up if everything that the OpenCore Legacy Patcher developers promise can be held. So if you go to the GitHub repository of the OpenCore Legacy Patcher, and by the way, all links and commands are down in the video description, you will find the official page with all the files that the OpenCore Legacy Patcher contains. If we go into the change log here, we can see what the developers have prepared already. And you can go through all that um, technical and developer stuff that is up front, but the most important part is down here where they say they implement early macOS Sequoia support for the following Macs. And as this is a little bit hard to read, I have prepared a nice slideshow for you where we can go through all the Macs that are in that list and that you have an idea if your Mac is already supported right now and which is not. So this is the official list of Mac models that Apple supports with Mac or Sequoia. And the only one that is not on that list anymore compared to Mac or Sonoma is the MacBook Air. And so this model, unfortunately, is also not yet supported with the OpenCore Legacy Patcher 2.0.0. So the developers are still working on getting the drivers into the OpenCore Legacy Patcher that Apple removed as Apple is not uh, officially supporting this MacBook Air anymore. But what is supported is the MacBook 8.1 2015, same as MacBook 9.1 from 2016 and the MacBook 10 one from 2017. Talking about MacBook Air, what is supported, that is a little weird as the older MacBook Air models are already supported with the OpenCore Legacy patcher, but the latest one that is just dropped is not. So the MacBook Air 5 one or 5 two from 2012, 6 one and 6 two from 2013, 14 or 7 one and 7 two from 2015 up until 2017 are already supported with the Open Core Legacy Patcher 2.0.0. Talking about the MacBook Pro, here it starts with the MacBook Pro 9 one or 9 two from 2012 and it goes all the way MacBook Pro 10, MacBook Pro 11, MacBook Pro 12 all the way up until the MacBook Pro 2017, which is the MacBook Pro 14, 1, 14, 2 or 14, 3. So all MacBook Pros from 2012 to 2017 are already supported with the OpenCore Legacy patcher. Talking about the Mac Mini, Mac Mini 2012, the Mac Mini 6.1 or 6.2 and the 7.1 from 2014 iMac starts with the iMac 10.1 from 2009. But hold your horses. Those iMacs are only compatible with macOS Sequoia if you have changed the graphics card 
to a metal capable one. I can tell you with my own iMac 2011 which has still a non-metal graphics card as it is stock I don't recommend the iMac 2009 that is the iMac 10 the iMac 2010 which is the iMac series 11 and the iMac 2011 which is called iMac 12.1 or 12.2 for macOS even Sonoma or Sequoia yet. So starting with the iMac 2012 which is the iMac 13 they are ready for macOS Sequoia up until the iMac 2017 which is the iMac 18.1, 18.2 or 18.3 and that by the way is exactly the iMac that is up here running macOS Sequoia Beta without any problems already. Talking about the Mac Pro, yes it starts with the Mac Pro 3.1 from 2008. Obviously the Mac Pro also has to have a metal capable graphics card and it is only running with maximum of four CPU cores right now. The developers are already working on that patch but you will see with the XSurf um, server, that is more or less a Mac Pro, but as a server version, that has the same issue. So the version from 2008 only runs on a four core CPU right now. The Mac Pro 4.1 from 2009 and the Mac Pro 5.1, so the latest cheese grater, if you have a metal capable graphics card, they are already ready for macOS Sequoia with the OpenCore Legacy Patcher 2.0.0. Obviously the Mac Pro 2013, the trash can, is also ready for Sequoia as the graphics card there is legacy metal capable. And as I told you before, the Xsurf 2.1 from 2008 has the limitation of maximum of four CPU cores if you have upgraded the graphics card to a metal capable one. The Xsurf 3.1 from 2009 doesn't have that CPU core limitation but obviously also needs a metal capable graphics card. Just one more thing as Apple always say there was also two annoying errors in the older OpenCore Legacy Patcher version that some of you encountered and where I got a lot of comments or discussions on the uh, Discord server. By the way, if you haven't yet, I strongly recommend you join my Discord server. The link is down in the video description. There are already two and a half thousand members discussing a lot of stuff about macOS on unsupported Macs. With OpenCore Legacy Patcher 2.0, as I said, two annoying errors were also fixed. One is the error that if you have used a Memoji as a login picture, some Macs just get stuck at the login window. As you can find here, they resolved the Memoji crashes and they had another thing that on rare occasions the Photos Memories tab. So if you go into the Photos app and you see the memories that this tab crashed on Intel Ivy Bridge or Haswell CPUs. So how do you get the new OpenCore Legacy Patcher 2.0.0? Obviously when it's released, the official release, I think next week. But if you want to try it already on your own risk, you can either do the procedure that I have described here in my video about macOS Sequoia Beta. Just don't use the branch Sequoia development because that branch isn't there anymore. Just use the main branch. But there's an easier way. Let me show you because since last night the developers already have a ready package of the nightly build. And that is when you're at the home page of the OpenCore Legacy Patcher, just scroll down to a file that is called source.md. If you click that, you have a description how you can run the OpenCore Legacy Patcher from source, obviously. And if you just use the first blue link here for developers wishing to validate mainline changes you may use this link GUI graphical based app if you click that it will download a zip file of the nightly build 
of the Open Core Legacy Patcher that you can just extract and install to your system and that is the version 2.0.0 nearly finished. So I hope you can play around a little bit with the new Open Core Legacy Patcher. You subscribe my channel, click the bell for notifications so you don't miss the updates next week when macOS 15 Sequoia is officially released and I will give you in-depth tests of all my unsupported Macs starting 2012 to 2017 real-world tests if it works, if there are any problems, if maybe the touch bar on the MacBook Pro 2016 is working with the T1 chip, if graphic acceleration is working. If you start installing Sequoia, maybe join the Discord server, link is also down in the video description, and talk about your results of your problems and let's keep this community alive. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon next week. Bye bye.